We're going to pray. You know, tonight, I just feel impressed. The Spirit of The Spirit of God is, is with us tonight. Amen. Amen. Jesus is here. Amen. There may be somebody tonight that you've got a burden on your heart. You're carrying a pretty big, heavy burden. I want to pray for you tonight. I want you to lay that burden down. There may be somebody here tonight that you're struggling with some habit, and you need deliverance in Christ. Maybe somebody here that once knew Jesus and you drifted away and you want to come back. Tonight, if you need prayer, just in a minute, I'm going to pray over you right now. So wherever you are, if you need prayer, if, 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 you've, if you've got some heavy burden you're carrying, you don't want to go home with that burden. Mm. If there's some habit that binds you and you want to be free of it, if there's some emptiness in your heart that needs to be filled, Charles is going to sing, turn your eyes upon Jesus. And you just come down here and just in this closing moment, we're not going to make much time. I'm going to pray over you, okay? So wherever you are, if there's something in your life that you need to have prayer for, you just come on down. Charles sing, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Just come on down. Let's pray right over you. Are you weary? Just come on down. I'm going to pray for and you. Some emptiness, some habit you're, you're struggling with, something you need deliverance for, you just come on down. You see I want to pray over you. Come on in. There's light for a look at the same. Jesus is going to touch somebody. Jesus is going to touch somebody. More abundant. He's a wonderful Savior. He's a wonderful Savior. If you're struggling with something, come on down. If there's some little hole in the heart of emptiness, Jesus wants to fill it. Come on down. Look in his on the theme Press in close. of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Often God doesn't work in the big fanfare. He works in the quietness. As you come to the altar, in John 6, verse 37, it says, Him that cometh to me, I'll in no wise cast out. Jesus knows why you have come. Give him your burden right now. As you're standing here, talk to Jesus. Forget about me. Forget about this audience. Make this a special experience between you and Jesus. Give him that burden. Tell him that you want him to fill that emptiness in your soul. Tell him you want, give him that habit. Tell him you want the shackles broken. Is there somebody else that wants to come? You need strength. You need power. You need deliverance. I'm going to pray just now. Charles, one more verse. Turn your eyes. Just that last prayer. Sing it if you know it with Charles. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. tonight all of heaven is smiling Jesus looks down upon each one you know each one like they were the only one in the earth Amen. you're putting your arms around them you're hugging them close you're whispering in their ear you are my child Lord where well, we've had habits that have shackled us and bound us like Miss Finley talked about tonight maybe alcohol tobacco something else Lord break that habit pattern in our lives. Yes. 
come with your mighty power. Lord, where we've been empty, fill us up, Lord, fill us up tonight. Where we've been shackled with guilt, deliver us from that guilt, Father, and may we find forgiveness in Jesus. Amen. Lord, tonight, we are yours, and you have said, him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Help us know from this moment on in our lives that you have not cast us out. Teach us, Lord, to live for Jesus, to follow his word, now and through all eternity, in Christ's name, amen. amen. I want you to go rejoicing. I want you to go singing. You've given your burden to Jesus. If you gave your burden to Jesus, who does not have it any longer? Who doesn't have it, folks? We don't. Do you have the burden any longer? Why don't you have it? If you get to Jesus, right? Go in peace. Amen. Until tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. The greatest financial secret the world does not know. Look forward to seeing you then. God bless you. Amen.